and welcome back everyone, welcome back to the lower semi-finals of the Tenacious Turtle Tussle. Welcome, we have our Terran player waiting in the grand finals, and now we're here to determine our second finalist, our Protoss finalist. As spawning in the top left-hand corner of Oceanborn, we have the South Korean Protoss player, the blue Protoss. It is Nightmare. And spawning in the bottom right hand corner, we have as a opponent, we have the Polish Protoss player, the red Protoss representing Sidestorm Gaming. It is Geralt. And you know what time it is if you're in the chat. Best of luck because predictions are open. Best of luck in the chat. Get your gamble going for the next two minutes. You can place your bets on who you think will claim the series. Again, I would not be surprised if this goes to the ace match. I would not be surprised if this goes back and forth. At the same time, though, I would give the slight edge to Nightmare, but the lasses can still go either way. We'll see. We'll see how this sto that how this story, how this series does unfold. As we are opening up two gate, two gate opener all around. Nothing too crazy. Likewise, there's no probe out on the map, not yet, to set up for a proxy. As Nightmare does come in with a probe scout. Oh, does take a bit of damage. <laughs> and Geralt trying to zone that probe away. Last Nightmare will keep it alive. We'll be able to respond. We'll be able to rotate. Likewise, Geralt also going for his own probe scout as well. A little bit later. The pylon is going to be confirmed. Nightmare aware that there is no proxy. Likewise, second pylon is in the main base of Nightmare as well. So no proxy from either player. Everything is looking standard in the early game. No proxy set up. Now from here, we're getting into our initial two units of choice. Could be double Stalker, Stalker Sentry, double Adept, Stalker Adept. What are we going for? We have the answer. Okay, double Stalker here out of Geralt and double Adept from Nightmare. Now with double Adept, the goal here is to move out across the map, is to bypass the main army and get into a mineral line. Two Adepts have the potential to one-shot workers. They can one-shot probes. They can be quite threatening to mineral lines. Uh, meanwhile, double Stalker in a head-to-head -head fight will come out on top will come out on top. Um, this could be double Stalker into a third and fourth Stalker, a very aggressive start here by Geralt, designed to gain map control and to punish Greed. As Stalkers do fan out, the probe is found. And uh, Geralt does get eyes on both Adepts. Gets out of the Adepts, going for his own Adept production behind this. Likewise, Nightmare doubles down, going for a third and fourth Adept as well. Very aggressive start here from, from Nightmare. Ooh, the pylon does finish. Nightmare's expansion is delayed. Does threaten that shade, but so far, Geralt, he keeps up. Does wall off. Geralt is walling up. Adepts are being zoned back. And Geralt's delaying his expansion, going for a Stargate before Nexus. Nightmare back at home, still attempting to expand. Yeah, the Adepts are being zoned back home. He is racing back. One of the Adepts taking a lot of damage already. Nightmare is going to be able to expand. But again, now the turns have tabled, and Geralt is going to be the aggressor. With the Stargate, we should be going to Oracle Harass. Meanwhile, Nightmare embracing a Robo follow-up instead. Here we go. I'm moving out with four adepts. Geralt likewise threatening a shade as well. Uh, Nightmare is not quite in position, but there we go. The probe is now ready. I say that the adepts they shade in. Oh, they do shade into the main base. Probes are going to be targeted. They get one so far, but the stalkers are in position. It's going to be two probe kills. At the same time, ooh, Nightmare is denied. Geralt he gets two workers. Walls off back at home. Who punishes the shade? And Nightmare miscontrolling a little bit here, losing an Adept. One Adept goes down. Oracle is revealed. Uh, going for the Adepts. Geralt wants to be secure. Takes down three, going for the final fourth Adept as well. On the one hand, it does mean that now there's less energy to harass in the mineral line, but I mean, there's already three Stalkers. There's already three Stalkers in position, and there's barely any saturation at the natural. So nice secure damage for Geralt initially. And he's getting into a second Oracle. So more Oracles on the way. Carol selling into his economy. Nightmare likewise getting ready as well. 
Yes, three stalkers in the main and two stalkers. Sorry, yeah, two stalkers and two sentries at the natural. So Geralt shouldn't find too much damage here. Uh, shouldn't. Can delay the third. Oh, third base goes down just in time. The probe falls, but did manage to expand in time. And at least Geralt is aware. And it's going to be on the red Protoss to try to punish and deny the third base. So we have double Oracle towards the left. Ideally, this keeps a lot of supply or as much supply as possible pinned back at home at the natural. And Geralt sneaks up on the third expansion. Observer's in position. Nightmare is aware. Shield battery is denied. Nightmare has to respond. Leaves out a Stalker. Catches another, though. Trading one for one. So a nice trade for Nightmare. Loses the pylon. Immortal has arrived at the same time. Has left two Stalkers in position. But well, the Oracles ahead for the main. And the main is exposed. And Nightmare, he had to pull away from the main base earlier. And we'll lose four workers. Five workers, even. Six, seven probes going down. Oh, it is going to cost Geralt every single Oracle, so it wasn't a free trade, but a good trade nonetheless. Does get seven worker kills. Geralt does take a worker lead. Does have a later expansion, but he's catching up. Geralt is catching up. Reinforcing with Mass Stalker. Back at home, Nightmare. He might have a lower Stalker count, but he's got Immortals. So in a head-to-head -head fight, I would actually favor Nightmare. In this position, defensively at least. Shield battery is finishing up. Force fields as well. Uh, Geralt has blink. He can try to avoid the main army. Gets a stalker. Gets a stalker. Gets the hell out of there. Geralt pulls away. Third immortals in production. And with this oracle, Geralt he could try to even blink into the natural. Try to bypass the main army. Carol still has a 6 probe lead. 5 probe lead, even. 6 to 5. <laughs> Slipping into the main, getting another handful of workers. No shield battery. Another 4 probes. Not bad. Get even more economic damage. Threads the third. Spots the immortals. Has to respect it. Again, 3 immortals. That's, that's a lot of immortals. So, Geralt, he can't really contest against the main army yet, but he's getting there. Charge is on the way. Charge, plus one. Ooh, Nightmare gets across the map. He's not taking this lying down. Nightmare has been stuck defending, and he shades into the natural as well. Getting five probe kills. Very nice counter damage. With only two adepts. That's what's important as well, is that Geralt had to invest into a Stargate and Oracles to get his damage. Nightmare did not. So there is that back and forth. Nightmare getting up to four immortals. Jesus. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of that. Now, to compensate, Geralt, he's skipping immortals. Skipping it entirely, and he's rushing into disruptor production. The bay is on the way. That is going to be for disruptors. And disruptors, they do outscale immortals over time. But you are vulnerable. Like I would say right now, Geralt is vulnerable to a push. If Geralt can buy time for that disruptor count to get a little bit higher to, to build up over to build up, then he's gonna be okay. But Geralt, he has to keep Nightmare busy. And keep him pinned back at home. Until those disruptors come into play. Oh. Snipes a stalker. Gets another. Uh, trading two for two. Oh, oh my god, as he loses a third and a four stalker as well. Some very nice force fields for Nightmare. The first disruptor is on the way. Again, one disruptor is okay, but we want to build up towards a healthier count. The Oracle doesn't get much done. Carol taking a fourth. Both players are. Carol still being active. And we're waiting for the move out from Nightmare. If he doesn't move out soon, then Geralt is going to get away with this. And he maybe already has. He's on one, soon to be three disruptors. Meanwhile, it looks like Nightmare is waiting for his upgrades. Charge about to finish, plus two. Uh, it's still in its infancy, still building up. 
So even though initially I still want to favor Nightmare as time goes on, I want to favor Geralt. I mean, I say that, it still comes down to the Novas. And uh, Hallucination Scout confirms Nightmare's aware. Immediately, his own robo. His own robo, his own bay. Nightmare, he's going to try to catch up on Disruptor production, but there's going to be a big window where he's going to be behind in Disruptors. He knows that he's moving out. He has to try to trade while he can before Geralt hits critical mass. But is it too late? Again, that's four disruptors. Geralt blinking in. Four Nova's ready. First Nova goes off. Zones away. Catches two Zealots. Nightmare trying to rotate around, trying to find another way in. There's three Nova's left. Revelation. Gerald is keeping up. Up to six disruptors. Oh, God. That's a lot of Novas. That's a lot of balls, Pappy. Gerald, he's sneaking up. Up. Oh, the Novas go off. <gasps> nice connections. Taking out Zelts and Stalkers. The Immortals do retreat. And uh, Gerald, at this point, he has too much to work with. I mean, Nightmare has to back off, has to retreat. Getting to his own disruptors. Geralt taking up into Sky Toss. He's crazy. <laughs> okay. I mean, Geralt is about to max out. And he's looking quite safe here with all these disruptors. So, Fleet Beacon's on the way. Dark Shrine is on the way. Geralt, so far, this game has been one step ahead tech wise. Now he's going up. <gasps> Decent connections. Trading out one disruptor. For six stalkers. Not a bad trade for Nightmare. Uh, now, Geralt has not thrown down a second Stargate, so this could just be for a mothership. Could just be for the mothership, for, for that support. Geralt is maxed out. So is Nightmare. We have 10 Disruptors versus 6. Let us do graze the army. That was going to be zoning. It's going to be 4 Novas on cooldown for Geralt. He has 6 left. Nightmare setting up a massive Zella counter attack. And it does force a recall. Oh, recalling the Disruptors though. That is going to be enough. Bearing in mind the recall is now on cooldown. Nightmare slipping in from behind. Going for the main. They're just taking out Zealots. <gasps> the Flanky Nova! Oh my god! Massive connection on the Disruptors. And Nightmare getting caught out. The Novas, they come in from both sides. Nightmare does get into the main though. He goes for a massive Zealot warp in. Ah, but alas, there's a shield battery, there's a cannon, there's an overcharge. Guarantee defense with DTs. Very nice defense. No detection for Nightmare. His Delta are shut down. Nightmare rotating. He's down to three disruptors. Oh, Blink's in! He's crazy! Oof. Uh, that was a bold Blink here by Geralt, losing out a lot of his disruptors. Yeah, disruptors are shut down, and Nightmare, he can take the fight. Again, that was a very bold move by Geralt. He plummets in supply. He lost almost every, he lost every disruptor. Five? Sorry, ten? Ten disruptors going down. The disruptor count was reset. Geralt down to two. The massive advantage that Geralt once had is not there anymore. Ah, one wrong step, one bad fight. It could be brutal. Geralt going for a DT counterattack. Now Nightmare has the disruptor lead. Up on disruptors. Mothership's on the way. Geralt will get on top of the sick. Nightmare coming in from behind. Up, oh! Massive connections. But the Immortals do survive. Ah, uh, Nightmare is trying to catch out the army. Comes in for the flank. Takes down the two Disruptors. Ah, uh, Geralt bleeding out a little bit too much. They're yeah, losing an Immortal as well. The losses are sacking up for Geralt. He's getting his own expansion, though. He's getting his own fifth. Massive Zella counterattack, this time with an Observer. This time DTs will not be enough. Oh, oh my god! Nightmare getting caught out! 
That would be cheeky. <laughs> and this could still go either way. Even though Nightmare has a supply lead, I mean, disruptors, they can pop off at any moment. That was what, four disruptors going down? Yeah, four disruptors. So, very nice catch for Geralt. He's still in this. Fleet Beacon's on the way. The mothership is at the expansion. Looks like Geralt is set up, set up for a defensive recall. If need be. Again, Geralt, he's throwing out blind Novas, like, just in case. <laughs> I mean, hey, it can work. As the game does settle from here. Very intense couple of moments. The game is calming down. Nightmare threatening the expansion, but there's a wall of cannons and shield batteries. Gonna try and bust in. Nova goes up. Gets a zealot. More base is being taken. Geralt trying to flank the main army. Gets the observer. Nightmare going for a massive zealot DT counterattack. Which is gonna be spotted by the observer. Geralt is aware. Does respond. Disruptor's coming in from behind. Oh! Again, bold move. Likewise, Nightmare also rotating as well behind the army. Gerald, he's spotted. Oh! Nerves go off! <gasps> Some okay connections. Getting a couple of stalkers. But the expansion is denied. That was... Cancelled. Was a cancel in the end. Army's rotating around. Geralt going for his own DT counterattack. Is spotted by the Observer. Nightmare pushing in. Ah, uh, T needs to get out of here. Almost flanked from both sides. Nightmare going to be forced to recall. Does recall by current Nova's going up. <gasps> oh, Nightmare shoots first. Does connect, and the DTs are going to be cleaned up. I say that that one Dark Temple are still being so annoying, but it's finally found. Meanwhile, now we finally have a second Stargate. Tempest, Tempest are on the way. They're building up for Geralt. Tempest are building up. Disruptors are amassing. Nightmare once again denying the sixth base. I mean, Nightmare does have the higher base count, does have the better mining. But Geralt still has a massive bank, at least a mineral bank to work with. Not the most important bank, but uh, a bank nonetheless. Geralt's a little bit trigger happy. Still denied his sixth expansion. But again, the Tempests are the ideal unit here in late game PvP. Up! Nervous going up. We do catch two Disruptors. Not the worst trade for Nightmare. Bearing in mind, he's trading Minerals for Gas. Zelts for Disruptors. Ooh, massive Nervous going up, though! Oh my god. The second wave barely not connecting. Both armies taking a lot of losses. Nightmare has to back up. Tempest might have been revealed. Ooh, and Nightmare is going to carrier production. I do favor the Tempest versus carrier. Uh, Tempest do bonus damage to massive units. Fun fact, they do bonus damage to carriers. Zell dropping to the main. Nightmare going for a counter attack. Geralt's out of position. Oh. Is out of position. But there's a lot of cannons to buy time. Geralt does respond. Never goes off. Catches a handful of Zealots. Phoenix coming in for the lift. And Nightmare has the back off. He does take down the Lotus Attack defense, but does not get the expansion and bleeds out two disruptors in the retreat. 
How many Tempest? Five. Ooh. Five Tempest for Geralt. That's a lot of Tempest. Catches the Stalkers. I do still favor Geralt's army. Nightmare here spawns with 14 Stalkers. So Nightmare going Mass Stalker. That's going to be his answer to the Tempest. But he's going to be dealing with five Disruptors on the ground. Like, Mass Stalker can be an army if they can avoid the Novas. Again, ideally, kind of the ideal composition in late game PvP is Tempest Disruptor. Tempest doing everything away, and ideally, Disruptors run away the ground army as well. Ideally. Good connection. Three Stalkers go down. Down goes a carrier as well. Players go blow for blow. Nova goes off. Catches a DT. Oh. I will say that the stalker count of Geralt is looking a little bit low. I should say the supportive units for the disruptors are looking low. As once again the sick base is denied. Geralt long distance mining. He's on seven disruptors against the six of Nightmare. DTs get across the map. Geralt coming in from behind. Trying to catch other stalkers. Up! Oh! Very big connections. Slightly in favor of Nightmare. Catching a disruptor. Oh my god. At the same time, DTs wreak havoc. They take down the base and the mineral line as well. 17 probes go down. 18 workers. As the armies do clash. Again, everything is on a knife's edge. Carol does lose a base. Does lose an expansion. Might lose another. Nightmare taking it for himself. <gasps> the Nevis! No, Nightmare! He's not looking! Oh my god. Not that takes out a carrier. More disruptors. Another carrier as well. Again, Tempest, they, they reign supreme. I still do favor Geralt's army, but Nightmare has the economy. Nightmare taking every other base on the map. The army is spotted. Nightmare going for a counterattack, going for once again a base with so many cannons. And Geralt, he has plenty of time to respond. Geralt coming in from behind. Nervous, catching out the Archon. Nightmare has to go through all the cannons. Geralt catches two disruptors. Flanking Nervous coming in. Up! Catches even more. Two disruptors left. And they're not on cooldown. Geralt, he can chase this down. Activates the cloak. Nervous going off. Oh my god! Massive connection. Geralt, he is running out of units, though. Running out of steam. Bleeding out 28 workers. These DTs! They got the mineral line. 28 probes go down. Geralt has the higher army supply. But the economy... The economy is what I'm concerned about. I mentioned before that Geralt had a bank. He still does. But the gas bank is what's concerning. Geralt, he has half the gas bank of Nightmare. Geralt hasn't been losing Tempest, though. He's been very efficient. Still making more Tempest. Stalkers are coming in. Phase nine the side defense. Gee, how many Tempest? Nine! Soon to be 12 Tempest! That's a lot of Tempest, Pappy. Meanwhile, we have the surround! And charges from one end. Stalkers as well. Ooh, is there detection, though? There is not. No detection. The mothership coming in clutch. Massive connection. Geralt, he will lose the mothership. But are there enough to deal with the Tempest? The Observer coming in. Tempest going off. Tempest did survive. And they can kite back. Yeah, the Stalkers, they cannot engage. Not into an overcharge. Ooh, once again, though, a massive connection. All the Tempest did survive, though. 
Stalker's coming in. They try to focus out whatever they can. They get one. They get two. Oh my god, they get two Tempests, but the Stalkers, they get annihilated, and Geralt, he will take the fight. Once again, though, Nightmare, he's got so many bases, so many expansions. And Geralt did lose most of his ground army. Say most of it, did replace it with DTs. And remember earlier I spoke, the, I spoke about the bank? Geralt, he's out of gas. He's out of gas. He has a hundred gas in the bank. He needs gas income desperately. Even though Geralt, he's been, I would say, you know, trading a little bit better, but running out of money, running out of resources, down to 37 workers, down to essentially two base economy. Tempest have been doing well. Oh! But Nightmare, he's been working with a cheaper army. Now, at least Geralt has established a base, right? He's finally gotten this base up and running. It took all game. It took 25 minutes. But he has the base. Oh. Nightmare catching out. Another disruptor. Geralt pushing in. Gaining ground. And it's going off. And again, this expansion still has value. Still has gases. Geralt can't afford to lose it. I'm shocking around. Up. Oh. Almost getting another Tempest. The only two Tempests have fallen this game. But soon to be three. Three Tempests go down. DT's attempting to harass. <gasps> Nightmare's not looking. Oh my god. Three connections. Takes down one Disruptor, mainly Stalkers. Two more disruptors go down. Geralt with the control. Does our trade. Which is good, but he still needs... He needs to at least deny some mining of Nightmare to take his own. <laughs> and it's going off. Once again, better connection for Geralt. Takes down another disruptor. Takes down another massive shout to Squirrel Fund in the chat. Gah, papi, gah. Thank you so much for resubscribing for five months. Gracias, papi, gracias. So, Rambai running into uh, the side defense. Nightmare still has potential with all these stalkers at the same time. Oh! Doesn't avoid the Novas. DTs, they hit the gases, and finally the gases are shut down. The gases, the disruptors. Geralt down to one base economy. 11 workers fall. And this is all that Geralt has left. He has to retake these gases, but the DTs, they come back in. And this is killing Geralt. Again, he has a larger army. He's been trading better. Like, it's it's been impressive. Got to... But he's broke. Nightmare coming from behind, pulling Geralt apart. Stalkers, they hit the natural, going for the production. Catching out a disruptor. And another as well. Uh, Geralt, he, uh, he, he... Does he respond? Does he not? He's having a hard time deciding. He decides not to. He's pushing in. He gives up on his expansion. He commits to the fight. And will claim the expansion. And trading a base for a base. Ooh, never does connect. But again, Nightmare has plenty of mining, has plenty of economy. The space doesn't really matter as much to Nightmare. Ooh, takes down the mothership. Nice pick up here by Geralt. It's the mothership. Takes down some stalkers, will eventually claim the base as well. Yeah, Nightmare forced to recall. Oh no! Ooh, massive connection! Nightmare escapes with only a handful of stalkers. The base is going to go down. At the same time, though, the main base is falling for Geralt. His production is tech. Geralt has a couple of gateways, has one robo. And what you see is what you get. This is the army, the final army of Geralt. But he does still have that army lead. It is how much? It's 10 Tempest, 7 Disruptors, and 14 Stalkers against 46 Stalkers of Nightmare.
Okay, this mainly Stalker DT for the blue Protoss. Meanwhile, more bases are falling. Nightmare still has an expansion, is now taking the base of Geralt. There's still gas to mine from. Uh, not much gas left. There's like 500 gas. Over 600 gas. But gas nonetheless. Geralt trying to catch out these stalkers. Recalls on cooldown. Uh, Nightmare has overextended these stalkers. There's no way out of this. Has to start a step back. This is actually a big loss for Nightmare. Losing so many stalkers. That's a lot of gas here. Yeah, big overextension. Nightmare coming in from behind, but this is not a fight he can take. He's going for the mineral line. He's going for the economy. At least trying to. There we go. It's on whole position. Ooh, so many probes going down. Nightmare tries to escape. Geralt taking another expansion. Playing the base of Nightmare. I kind of want to favor Geralt now. Not going to lie. Like, I, Nightmare, he lost a lot of Stalkers in that counterattack, and it wasn't quite worth it. Lost a lot of DTs. Nightmare, his own gas bank, he's burning through it. Like, the economies are... Oh, I should say the banks are pretty close. On the one hand, Nightmare, he has a larger gas bank, but... Gonna be losing more stalkers during the fights. Geralt has been more efficient. And he needs these gases. <laughs> he needs the gases. Oh, on top of that, though, uh, Nightmare, sorry, Geralt, he has to rebuild the production. The production has to be rebuilt. Another base is gonna be going down. Once again, trading a base for a base. Going up. Massive connections. Results are going down. Nightmare will take down the Nexus, but again, there's not really much value here. But yeah, with I mean with Tempest Disruptor, I think I think Gerald has this. I'll be honest. I say that Nightmare going back into disruptor production. Okay, okay. I see you. Back into disruptors. Gas is being taken. Technically, a Geralt could claim this expansion and take these resources as well. And Nightmare, he's on one and a half bases. Oof. Does face check, does run into the Tempest. Geralt, he has to fight for this base. Take it, Pat. On top of that, he supply blocks. Yeah, like the, the problem here, Geralt, he has to rebuild the production. Rebuild all his pylons. Geralt needs time to, to make use of this economy. Well, to make use of the mining, I should say. I mean, it's not... It's, it's not much of an economy. He's trying to do what he can. Oh. Nightmare being cheeky. Oh! Oh! Never goes off. Nightmare just first. Nightmare a little bit trigger happy. Oh! Gets another disrupt, another two! Better Nova's here for Nightmare. When it matters most. The pressure is on. He wants he wants those disruptors. <gasps> he goes to the knife! Ooh, takes a massive nose to the face. Takes two! Ah, Nightmare. He did second guess himself. Not the best blink. Losing how many? That was 21 stalkers going down. 21 stalkers. That's crazy. We can't afford that, Bappy. We can't. Oh my god. It's coming in. At the same time, though, Geralt is down to one disruptor. That is the only thing stopping Nightmare from, from collapsing in. And Nightmare, he's ready for the surround. And one disruptor. It's all that's left standing. Nova goes off. Does connect. Yeah, the Nova connects, but now the Tempest are exposed. We come in with a full surround, and Nightmare looks like he has enough. Just barely takes down every single Tempest, and again, there's no support, there's no there's no production, nothing to reinforce, and Nightmare, he has done it. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> it's a very tense game. When he breaks through, there's only four Tempest left. The Disruptors. The Nathas. 
the ball spot. GG gets called and Nightmare takes game number one. That was game one. <laughs> GG. Oh my god. GG. Well played. Congratulations. Nightmare will take the first game. This is still the beginning of the series, though. <laughs> oh my god. That was very tense, though. Very tense. Very tense game states. I mean, for so long, it felt like Nightmare was in the driver's seat. But again, Geralt went for a more efficient army composition, went Tempest Disruptor. Even though Geralt, by no means, had the economic advantage for the majority of the game. Even though Nightmare had a massive gas and mineral bank, Geralt, he was able to hold his own. He was able to hold his own and able to, yeah, just have such an, uh, such an intense game state there. Here we go. We're jumping into game number two. <laughs> jumping into game two. And we'll see how this story ends. I'm hoping for an ace match. I'm hoping for a game three. But there's there's also like so much that happened in the last game as well. Again, like Geralt initially he was he was just out trading Nightmare. Had the better disruptor control initially, but he was denied his fifth sorry, his sixth expansion for so long in that game. Ah. <laughs> Regardless, GG well played. And now we're jumping into game number two and spawning in the top left hand corner of Goldenora. We have the South Korean Protoss player leading the series one to zero. It is Nightmare. And spawning in the bottom right hand corner, we have his opponent. We have the Polish Protoss player, the red Protoss representing Cystorm Gaming. It is Geralt. Towards the end of that game, I was so concerned for Nightmare for the fact that Geralt, he was taking more expansions, getting his mining back up and running. But again, uh, as we were also pointing out, Geralt had no production. So even though he was able to get some economy going, he couldn't rebuild his Tempest, for example, or he couldn't rebuild his Disruptors. That was, I would say, the biggest part, actually. Maybe the deciding factor is that as Geralt, throughout the end of the game, um, as he was bleeding out Disruptors, he just wasn't able to replace them. They just could not be replaced. And eventually, Nightmare did overwhelm. If Geralt was actually, was actually able to get his Robos up and running in his bay as well, then maybe a different game state, but Geralt needed more time. Did need more time for his production. Regardless, GG well played a very, very intense game one. Uh -huh. And now we can calm things down. Gate expand? He's crazy! Max Pax is... Even Max Pax doesn't do this. This is a gate expand, not even gate cybercore. Even Max Pax wouldn't be, isn't willing to be this greedy. <laughs> Nightmare. Calm down. So, um, for those that are curious, this is the greediest opener you can go for in PvP. I mean, I guess outside of Nexus, like just Nexus, right? Which is even more crazy. <laughs> but regardless, Gate Expand before Cybercore. And it's on Geralt to punish this. The pressure is on the Protoss and, well, I mean, the other Protoss. And Geralt is setting up for a proxy pylon. And this should be for a proxy Stargate. So again, this makes sense. It's going to be Adepts on the ground and Stargate in the air, or Oracles in the air. And Geralt needs to punish the greed of Nightmare. I'm sure he can. Likewise, Nightmare attempting to scout. Uh, Nightmare does get eyes on at least the first two pylons, but he does not see the third pylon. As we can see, it's across the map. Stargate's on the way. First two adepts are moving out. We have a third and fourth adept behind this as well. Again, Geralt just going for mass aggression. Adepts, they can harass the mineral lines, so can oracles. Geralt getting a probe into the main, walling off the, the ramp. Uh-oh. Ramp is walled off. Ah, just being annoying, getting a read on what's going on. Adepts a shade into the natural. Probes are going down. It's already two probe kills. Almost three. Up. Oh. And two probes so far. Not a bad start for Geralt, considering he does save all of his adepts. Adepts, they do get out. 
More depths on the way. Oh, Geralt actually shading back into the mineral line is going to cost him an adept. Less than ideal. Uh, meanwhile, Geralt, he still has no expansion. Oh, Nightmare with the pylon block. Forcing the unnatural natural. Not like this. Oracle busts into the main. Sorgs are in position. And Nightmare, he's ready for this. Nightmare, he defends his main, defends his natural. Geralt forced to expand at the third instead of the natural base because of the pylon. Oh, Geralt's in a rough position. So far, the harass hasn't been too successful. I say that he does get in. Let's go. Viper is falling. And let's say shade back in. Seven probes, eight probes going down. And Geralt does take a worker lead. That's a good start, but still not enough. Huh? Getting another probe. Ten probe kills. Now, the big, the big concern here for Geralt is, even though he has killed a lot of workers, that is true, still on one base. Geralt is still only making one probe at a time. The second Nexus is still not finished. So Geralt needs more damage. If he was on two bases, that would have been enough, but still not. Behind this, Geralt getting into his own blink. Uh, I believe Nightmare has gone for a Robo. Yeah, there's a Robo follow-up instead from Nightmare going into Immortals. I uh, should be working on Immortals. As both players are calming down. Again, Geralt in, with a bit of an awkward expansion pattern. <laughs> but we have evened up the worker count. And Nightmare will maintain his role as the defender. Nymer is going to be building up Immortals and is going to be stuck at home with Immortals as well. And Geralt will have the more mobile army with Blink. As Blink is almost done and Stalkers are moving in. Stalkers are moving in. Do we have our first immortal here on the low ground? Geralt bypassing the main army. Can bleed into the main. Can and he will. Set up for the main base. Gets eyes on the pylon. Stasis trap as well. Nightmare, he's thrown away. Does trigger the stasis. Pylon does fall. Nightmare defends. Robo stays powered. Second immortal has arrived. Oracle back into the main, getting another three probe kills. Geralt pulling Nightmare apart. Not bad. Nightmare taking his third. Geralt threatening another dive. Blinks in. And gets another Stalker. Oh, gets two. A trading two for two. Sentry as well. Nightmare forced out of the main. I'm oh, sorry. Geralt forced out of the main. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, the other Protoss. Ah. Gets eyes on the third. Geralt taking his own. Third base is much faster for Nightmare. Bear that in mind. And so far, yes, Nightmare's been losing some Stalkers here and there, some Sentries, but he has health. And he's building up that Immortal count. And eventually, we're going to hit critical, ma critical mass of Immortals, and eventually, Nightmare will move out. He'll be able to move out across the map with that heavy Immortal-based army. Geralt trying to be cheeky. Stay traps are denied. Blink is halfway done. Nightmare getting his fourth immortal. Sorry, his fifth immortal. Jesus. Getting up to five immortals. That's crazy. That's a lot of immortals. Nightmare getting a little bit adventurous. God, Geralt's getting adventurous. You know, oh God. Ah. I haven't had breakfast. <laughs> Geralt getting adventurous. He does pull away. Behind this, getting his third, getting into charge. Now, charge is going to be a big factor in the next when it comes to the next big fight. Charge also do an amazing job at tanking shots from stalkers and immortals. Because of that, ideally, Nightmare would also want Archons, but he has not taken up into a temple of archives. Archons are currently not. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> temple archives on the way. And Nightmare, he should be moving out with the completion of this Templar Archives. With a warp in of High Templar and Archons. 
Meanwhile, Geralt, once again, very similar to the previous game, is skipping Archons, skipping Immortals, and going into a bay, going into Disruptors. It's similar to game one, but not quite. Um, in this game, it's been, I mean, Geralt has been more desperate for damage. Just because of the opener. Gets another two probes. Geralt's still being active. But if Geralt can buy time, if he can distract Nightmare long enough, keep him busy, and get into his first round of Disruptors, then Geralt is going to be okay. And he will be able to survive the move out. The bay is now done. First Disruptors on the horizon. Geralt just needs a little bit more time. The Disruptor, it's coming! Meanwhile, first wave of Archons are on the way. Geralt is getting ready for a counterattack. And here comes the move out. Uh, is there a warp prism? There is no warp prism here for Nightmare. So no way to reinforce. Zelts, they hit the fourth. They force Nightmare to turn around. He races back home. And the Zelts, they don't kill the fourth, but they didn't need to. Remember, this was all about buying time. And Geralt, now he has his first Disruptor, second and third Disruptor on the way. A Fleet Beacon as well. Again, very tech heavy. Geralt's going for a Fleet Beacon and a Dark Shrine as well. This is quite risky. I mean, it was already risky going into Disruptors like this. Even more so working towards DTs and a Mothership. But Geralt is getting away with it. And again, it feels like Nightmare has missed his window. Now, he's getting into his own Disruptors, which means we're now getting into a longer back-and-forth game state. Nightmare just now working his second Robo. Let's play catch-up when it comes to those Disruptors. We could be in for another long one. We're headed in a similar direction to the previous game. Nightmare. Oh. Avoid some overs. Disruptors are revealed, of course. Geralt also working on plus three. armies will back up. Again, pushing into an army with disruptors is a very difficult thing to do. Like, the defender has a big advantage. Uh, but alas, Geralt, he hasn't made use of the fleet beacon yet. No mothership in sight. But there we go. Stargate's on the way. Second Stargate, I should say. I, I, kind of the first one. I mean, the first one is still out on the map, but it should be shut down eventually. It's not safe to make a Tempest from this Stargate, I should say. Ooh, as Geralt is getting cornered. Uh oh. Uh, he's gonna have to recall. He has to recall out of here. He's gonna try to escape, but he's getting cornered. Nervous going off. Massive connections. Oh my god. Not like this. Geralt losing every single Stalker. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, was playing with fire there. Did get heavily burnt. And now Geralt, he has no map control. He has a lot of disruptors, though. That's a, that's a lot of disruptors. But they have no protection. They have very little support. Geralt is vulnerable. Starport on the way for... Oh, sorry. Stargate on the way for Nightmare. DT counterattack. Deep powers the gate. The, the cannons. Forces a recall. Not bad. This will buy time. Even kills the expansion. Very nice DT counterattack here by Geralt. Again, he's buying time to replenish his army, and to rebuild those Stalkers. Okay, Geralt, he's okay. Does force back the army. Builds up the Stalkers. Up to how many Disruptors? Ten? Jesus. <laughs> That's ten Disruptors for Geralt. <laughs> and there it is. Mothership's on the way. Tempest as well. Second Stargate. 
third Stargate. I do think these Stargates are delayed, um, bearing in mind that one of them was proxied. So Geralt is going to take him a little bit longer to really embrace Tempest production, but he's getting there. So once again, Disruptor Tempest is going to be the composition for Geralt. And Nightmare hasn't really been able to... Oh, no! Jesus. <laughs> hasn't really been able to break this. Likewise, unlike the previous game, Nightmare doesn't have that massive economic lead. Not yet. It was going off. Nightmare shoots first. Ooh, massive connections! Trading four for four. Actually, an even trade with Disruptors. Four Disruptors going down for both players. Geralt being cheeky. Up. Looking for those shots. Leading out some Stalkers. Geralt going for the gold. Oh, the Observer does spot the Disruptors, though. That will scare Nightmare off. And Nightmare, he doesn't check. Oh, no. Sorry, he is aware. And it's on Nightmare to deny this. The goal base is going to be a, a big factor here in this map. On oh, Golden Aura. Tempest is revealed. Never goes up. Nightmare peels off a couple of Immortals for the expansion. I do think this is good. Um, just because Immortals, they're outscaled at this point. It's like, Nightmare, he wants to get rid of them. Get with double expanding. Ooh, that's going to be two cancels on the expansions. That's going to be three. Up. Oh, uh, just the two. Same time, Nightmare trying to work his way in. Denies the Northern Expansion as well. Oh, wait, he does it again! Up! Oh. oh my god, just barely not. That was almost a kill on the Nexus. Geralt has been contained on five bases. He's working on the gold. We'll see if we can hold on to it. Meanwhile, when it comes to Tempest Count, we're up to three Tempest and nine Disruptors. Still zoning away. I imagine this time Nightmare is not going to try and go into Carrier. And with these Stargates on the way, Nightmare, he might go into his own Disruptor Tempest composition as well. That would make sense. Especially after game one, I'm sure he's very res like respective of Geralt's army control. Speaking of... <gasps> catching us with Stalkers. Go base getting up and running. This is a big moment for Geralt. Well, base is getting saturated. Nightmare tries to rotate over. Uh, does that position Geralt? Nightmare, he has the ramp. Yeah, the ramp is in control of Nightmare. Geralt's unable to fully push in, but does make it through. Nightmare backs off. Getting ready for his own zealot run by. Mothership's on the way for Nightmare. Go base is fully operational. Uh, gases haven't been taken yet. Losing a disruptor. Carol does shoot first. Gets one. Oof. Trading one for one, even. Nightmare trying to make use of these zealots. Does thread the needle. Heads for the natural. At the same time, Nightmare does that position, Geralt. Once again, abusing the ramp. Doesn't quite connect. Almost. Again, this ramp is... It can be brutal. If Geralt's not in position. So far, he's been keeping up. Tempest production has now begun for Nightmare. Goal base now securely in favor of Geralt. Nightmare taking his own base. Is coming in. Go no! He's not looking! Oh my god. Thankfully, just grazes the main army, but catches two more disruptors. It's gonna be four disruptor kills. Oh! Nightmare pulls away in time. 
And you have to be so careful. You have to, you have to be so attentive to your army when up against disruptors. If you're not looking at the wrong moments, then that, that could be it. That can be game. Now, on the one hand, Geralt has the gold. On the other hand, Nymer's up two bases. Or he's up a base. Seven versus six. No base does compensate. I remember it's hitting around. Catching a free Tempest. Some DTs as well. Nightmare might bleed out some of these Immortals, but again, Nightmare he wants to get rid of them. Let's go up. Zoning away. Uh, Nightmare, he has caught up in Tempest production. They've yet to reveal themselves. Nightmare with six Tempest against the five of Geralt. Upgrade still slightly in favor of Geralt, though. Plus two just finished up. That's going to be another factor we have to bear in mind. Just because it's a dynamic that we didn't have last game is the Tempest upgrades. Those members are going up. Once again, catching Geralt off guard. Up! Getting another Disruptor. Trading one for one. See Nightmare just trading out his own units to make room for more Tempest. So when it comes to the upgrades, uh, Geralt does have shield upgrades. He's been investing quite heavily. He's working on plus three shields, plus three air attack as well. So three threes on the way for Geralt. Meanwhile, Nightmare is behind when it comes to those upgrades, but I believe has a higher Tempest count. Yeah, Nightmare, he's got more Tempest. And at the end of the day, that might be all that matters. Ooh, that's 12 Tempest to 8. Like, Disruptors... Uh, unfortunately, so Geralt, he has too many Disruptors. He has a lot of supply in Disruptors, not in Tempest. And Disruptors, they didn't shoot up. That's 9 Disruptors for Geralt. And Nightmare just doubling down on more Tempest. Now let's go up. Geralt, he... Ooh. We'll lose his disruptors. And Nightmare, yeah, he zones the army away. Geralt, he cannot engage. He's having a hard time engaging, I should say. And Nova going off, he mentioned we spoke about that ramp earlier. Geralt trying to respond. He's going down, snipes the Tempest. Gets the mothership. Up! Oh, barely. While the ship goes down. Nightmare still up three Tempest. Takes out the mothership as well. Yeah, Nightmare, he can take the fight. Just head on engagements. There's no stalkers to support on the ground either. And Geralt, he has to back off. There's too many Tempests for Nightmare. Stalkers are coming in. They get two. Oh, they get one. Here they catch a Tempest. Still very tense. Go does save the expansion. Getting another. Another base getting up and running. The Tempest count is very close. Seven to six. Uh, I say that. Another wave just finished off a nightmare. Now, because Stalkers are going to be a more deciding factor here, like the Immortals, they, they have their place for Nightmare now. At their place. Nightmare, he rotates, finds the expansion. Go catching reinforcements. Very nice catch. Takes down two Tempest. Nightmare coming in from behind, collapsing on the main army. Sorry, Geralt coming in from behind, collapsing on the main army. Nightmare getting flanked. And Nightmare bleeding out a lot of Tempest. Yeah, Tempest are going down a much better trade for Geralt. Geralt has, to, sorry, Nightmare has to retreat, and Nightmare forced to reinforce with mainly Stalker. Okay, the game swinging in favor of Geralt. Let's go.
Let's catch him out. Coming in from behind. We do have uh, some DTs wreaking havoc. Fifteen probes going down, and the army's out of position. Geralt, do we recall? Gore base is exposed. Yeah, Nightmare, he may be down on Tempest, but he does have a more, 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 more a mobile army. Takes down the Nexus. Geralt trying to respond, but Tempest is not the fastest of units. And Nightmare, he gets away. Cripples the economy. The banks are still comparable. Tempest count is even. Stork count in favor of Geralt. I mean, because Geralt is down on workers, he has a larger army supply. It's going up. Speaking of throwing away probes, yep. <laughs> Geralt just freeing up more supply. Getting a greater army. Oof. As all the bases on the map have been taken. And I would want to see Nightmare also throwing away some probes. I mean, he has he has more like saturation or more patches available to him, I guess. Up, oh. losing a disruptor. There we go, 11 probes going down, there we go. <laughs> I think Nightmare, he just threw them into cannons. So Nightmare does free up supply. Catching out a Tempest. Still very close. I will try to respond. Coming in from behind. Base is under fire. Nightmare, he does spot this. Nerve is going up. Oh, getting some disruptors. Nightmare has to evacuate, has to pull away, doesn't get the base. Oh! God. <laughs> In a delicate dance with these armies. Nightmare, I believe, down to the only two disruptors catching out another Tempest. Geralt does barely save the expansion. Let's push the side of the fence. Uh, Nightmare does have a massive mineral bank, but that's not the biggest factor. Bear that in mind as well. That really means more potential stack defense and zealots. All of it will come down to gas. Like the previous game. And Geralt, it looks like he will take down this expansion. They're trading a base for a base. Nightmare, he is late to respond. <gasps> no, who is it? No! No! <laughs> God, I was I was concerned. Uh, as it looks like we might be losing one of our casters. Shout out to Akadon. Uh, he was casting alongside a little Mac. Um, thankfully, there's no big fight going on. Right now, Geralt is laying siege upon a base. Likewise, Nightmare is pushing in through the center. Like, the main armies weren't clashing, is what I should say, thankfully. So it's not a micro-intensive situation, but we will be losing one of our observers. It's all good. Whew. And um, Geralt, after he takes down top right, he could try and go for another expansion or, of course, recall back home. And I'm not so sure if Nightmare can really get any value here with his own counterattack. We'll see. Like, this space doesn't mean as much for Geralt, I should say. Game paused. Game paused. Okay, we're good. Okay, top right is going to go down. Nightmare going for the third. In a way, trading a base for a base. That was going up. Oh! Quite able to catch Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare. We do have Tempest back home, though. Looks like there was a recall. 
Tempest did make it back home. Throw next to Stars 4, but again, didn't really matter too much for Geralt. As he did deny a mining base, loses a Robo. Robo goes down. Nightmare re-expanding. Nightmare plummeting in supply, but he has a bank. And he's going to re replenish this with so many more Stalkers. 17 Stalkers warp in. Nightmare going for the gold. Going for bottom left. Recall is on cooldown. Catching a disruptor. That's one. Bottom left. I mean, the side defense has been buying a lot of time. Results are warping in, and yeah, Geralt should be able to defend. It's a recall. At the same time, Nightmare going for towards top right. Trying to pull Geralt apart. Abusing the immobility of these armies. There's the overcharge. Cannons, they almost get a Tempest. He wants it. Oh, he won't get it. So because they come in to reinforce. Tempest getting low. One Tempest goes down. At the same time, Nightmare coming in from behind. Again, he's trying to pull Geralt apart. Attempting to. Up. Oh. Let's go off. Stalkers, they try to catch a Tempest, unable to. Geralt, he holds his own. Tempest still wreaking havoc. But Geralt, he will defend. He will keep up. Geralt, he does take both fights. Up. Oh. Even trapping these Tempest. Tempest falls. And Nightmare, he's stuck with a bit of a subpar army. Geralt, he's up to 14 Tempest. And Nightmare, he went, he went full Stalker. These are the only Tempest for Nightmare. He's going Mass Stalker instead, reinforcing with 17 more. Is it enough? No Disruptors. Uh oh, uh, no Disruptors for Geralt. Mass Stalker can overwhelm. Takes down another Tempest. Nova goes off, doesn't quite connect. Had potential. Ooh, and Zelda coming to reinforce. Because they do struggle against zealots. Meanwhile, these four tempests are still wreaking havoc. <laughs> they will eventually be cleaned up. Eventually. Nightmare rotating as well, going for the gold. There's still mining going on. There's still some saturation here. And we might just trade a base for a base again. Bottom left for top right. Our expensive losses though for Nightmare. Down the three Tempest. Expansion goes down. Geralt can try to take this as his own. Yeah, sending out a probe. He's gonna attempt to expand. So it's gonna be ground toss versus sky toss. <laughs> in a way, in a way. Where Nightmare, he's just had enough of Tempest. He's, he's, he's done with it. Get me out of here. <laughs> and you can definitely argue that Nightmare is a faster player. We'll see if he can use that speed to his advantage. Going for another expansion. Girl gonna respond. Next, it does full. It's out the stasis. Geralt down to one base economy. That can be a factor. I mean, so is Nightmare. True. Nightmare long distance mining. The banks are still comparable. And Geralt does have a more efficient force. In a head on fight, I do favor Geralt. Oof. Yeah, late blink for Nightmare. Please add a lot of stalkers. Geralt, he's on 11 Tempest. And I do think the best chance for Nightmare is to pull Geralt apart. Like, he cannot win head-on. There's, there's no shot. Nightmare, he has to try to bypass the army, get another expansion, get another base. 
once again, long distance mining. Let's go. Salt's so denying that more than expansion. Pass to pull away. Will attempt to defend with his own DTs, but there are oracles as well. Other probes. And I mean, he has to respond. Rotating towards the north. So is Geralt. Uh, somewhat. Uh oh. Geralt is keeping up. That's 21 probes going down. And the Tempest is still terrifying. Please out of Tempest. Ooh, and we spoke about the banks earlier, but Geralt now has a massive gas lead. He was almost at 5k gas. Base goes down. And again, Nightmare needs a miracle fight here to bring things in his favor. I'm talking some nervous. Speaking of, keeping Geralt pinned. I mean, all that Geralt needs is his base. True. And production as well. Yeah, Geralt is being zoned away. The ground army cannot engage. Nightmare going for the natural. Deep powers of production. At least the robo. And Geralt will back off. Sorry, Nightmare will back off. Geralt, he responds in time. Oh, a bit of a miss rally here from Nightmare. Leading out a good chunk of stalkers. Every stalker does count. And this also does telegraph like the movement of the main army. So Geralt knows. Again, just miss movement or miscontrol from Nightmare. Nightmare going back into Tempest. Still long distance mining. And what's terrifying for Nightmare is that this top right-hand base is potentially a Geralt base. Meanwhile, Nightmare once again going in, going for the main. Uh, might have to recall out of here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. He backs off. Takes down the natural. Is threatening the production. Plus three ship armor on the way for Geralt. And again, the problem here is that once this space mines out, Geralt, he can just maneuver his entire army towards top right and take another expansion. And again, just, just focus on defending that. Uh, oh my, that's... Meanwhile, the Tempest count has been building up. Just a little bit. That's now 15 Tempest. Oh boy. Nightmare. The entire time. He's been building up his own Tempest, Papi. I underestimated. I was like, oh yeah, he's going to have like, you know, 5 to 10 Tempest. No, 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 no. 15. Uh oh. Nightmare. He has a comparable army now. He can fight against this. Now, Geralt still has a bank. Geralt, he can trade. Nightmare cannot. As God has, what, 3.6k in the bank. 3.6k gas, I should say. But God, upon seeing the Tempest, he respects it, he backs off. He wants none of it. Nightmare also has an upgrade lead as well. He's got 3 3. Yeah, Tempest's gonna be engaging. Mothership gets one shot. Minus 300, minus 300. He's running away. Ooh, yeah, the Tempest is getting too low. Yeah, Geralt bleeding out a lot, and it takes a long time to replace those Tempest. Does take a long time. Nerve is running away. Geralt trying to rely on Stalker reinforcements instead. Nightmare has to back off. 
Stalkers have arrived. Nightmare is running out of money. Running out of resources. Up. Oh. There is a will connect. Raising the stalkers up. <gasps> Almost a big connection. No, no cooldown. Yeah, the stalkers are punished. And Nightmare, he is out trading. Also, Rick sent for a moment. Getting a Tempest for a Tempest. Massive connection. Tempest are going up. Still very close. Nightmare bleeding out a lot there in the retreat. He's attempting to retake top right. Ah, but Geralt, he's out of deny it. Tempest count is neck and neck. Disruptor and Stalker count as well. Nightmare supplies are very close. Nightmare going for the mining pace. Slow. Up. Oh. zones. Nightmare going for the production. Gets a Stargate. Gets a gateway. I do think getting the gateways are actually is actually quite smart. But uh Geralt is now out of minerals. Uh oh. Geralt, he's got gas, but no minerals! It's the it's the opposite problem of last game! No! <laughs> We're out of minerals, Fappy! That was going up. Not bad. Likewise, though, it's not like Nightmare's rich either. Still long distance mining. Top right is denied. There's still a lot of resources left here in this space, but no one can mine from it. Disruptors are spotted. <gasps> oh! Now he shoots first! Massive connections! Yeah, massive catch! Ay ay ay! Disruptors do go down. That was what? Four disruptors. There's four left. Four Geralt. Gets a Tempest. Gets two. Oh, big catch. Two Tempests go down. Three left. Army supply in favor of Geralt. There it goes up. Up. Oh. Square connect. Nightmare down to two Tempest. I do favor Geralt's army, but it's still very close. Ooh, losing another Tempest down to one. The Tempest of Geralt, they reign supreme. Nightmare going for the Novas. Uh, does reset the Disruptor count. Ah, uh, but that might have not been worth it. Yeah, it looks like Geralt, he has enough. He does overwhelm. Catches out the Stalkers, gets the final seven. GG gets called, and Geralt, he ties up the series one to one. We're going to the ace match. Let's go. <laughs> GG. Ah, uh, GG, well played. Geralt, he does bring it back again. This time, he did have a stronger economy getting into the mid to late game. But despite Nightmare's, again, tenacity, though, I mean, Nightmare, he was an animal. He was just constantly counterattacking, harassing, going for massive stalker counterattacks and runbys, and was pulling Geralt apart. Did build up a pretty hefty Tempest count as well. But unlike the previous game, Nightmare did not have the economic uh, advantage. Did not have that economy. He was unable to hold on to top right, and Nightmare, he couldn't, you know, trade the way that he did in game one. And eventually, Geralt was able to take it. GG, well played. We're going all the way to game three. <laughs> Let's go. If our players need a moment, then I'm more than happy to have a small break. If they need... No, no, that's fine. <laughs> they, they're just going for it. They need no breaks. Crazy. Oh my god. As we're headed into the ace match. We're headed into Ghost River. Ah.
And spawning in the top left-hand corner of Ghost River, we have the South Korean Protoss player, the Blue Protoss, being forced into the ace match. Can he bring it back? It is Nightmare. And spawning in the top right-hand corner, we have as opponent, we have the Polish Protoss player, the Red Protoss, representing Cystrom Gaming. It is Geralt. Let's go. Let us go. Mutual cannon rush? <laughs> no, no. I we're loading into Ghost Shiver. Ghost Shiver has a short rush to spike round. That is true. And we could see some aggression early on. But um, I will say, based off of game one and game two, it does look like Geralt is more confident when it comes to his late game army control. I'm referring to that kind of Tempest Disruptor composition. Um, Geralt has been the first to kind of initiate teching in that direction in the in both games so i imagine he doesn't really want to be hyper aggressive early on i feel like the onus is going to be more a nightmare like clearly nightmare he wants to be more active he wants to be more in your face we saw that when it came to his army movements when it came to his compositions as well but we'll see we shall see for now two gate opener Two gate opener out of Nightmare, two gate opener out of Geralt. As a reminder, last game, Nightmare did open up gate expand. He went for a very greedy opener, and it was on Geralt to harass and to tie things up. And I mean, he did even things up even. Now we can take a breath, take a moment. And uh, if you're in the chat, if you maybe run out of water, run out of snacks, I do recommend hydrating, of course. Uh, refill your water, get some food, get the kettle going. We're gonna be here for a while. Let me. <laughs> I'm calling it a bit early, but we. This could be another half hour game. Double adept. Double adept open out of Geralt. Double stalker from Nightmare. Uh, this does tell us, of course, that Geralt is going to be the aggressor here with the initial depths. The goal here is to move out across the map to threaten a shade. Nightmare is going for a robo before expand. Uh, does Nightmare even expand? The robo has been placed. I mean, I, I guess he was forced to delay because of the pylon. Uh, makes sense. So Nightmare forced attack. Adept's getting in position. Geralt setting up for his own expansion. And it looks like both players are going to be expanding. Uh, I said the third gate. One base will win. Let's go. Okay. If you can hear me, if you went to get some food, come back, papi. Come back. <laughs> Nightmare is going for a one base all in. Geralt is expanding. Let's go. And that girl's still trying to piece it together. Let's say threaten a shade. And the Adepsay do not get into the main. Geralt is still in the dark. Oof, uh, it's going to be forced to recall. And again, we have three gateways. We have the prism on the way as well. It's all or nothing for Nightmare. Back at home, Geralt is setting up. Does have a safety shield battery. Shield battery set up. Going for his own a third gateway and a defensive robo. So far, a good response by Geralt. But it comes down to the execution. It comes down to the control. Now, watch the all-in fail, but still do some damage, and then Nightmare expands, and then we end up another... <laughs> and then we then we settle in. Uh-huh. But for now, Nightmare is committed. Going for another warp in. Ooh, what a bit of a mistake here from Geralt. Does commit to the shade. Two adepts go down. Every unit does count in this kind of game state. And Nightmare pushing in. Can juggle back. Overcharge gets popped, but he takes out the sentry. And sentry does fall, and Geralt, he's up against the wall. He has to buy time for his immortal. And the immortal does pop out. The immortal has arrived. That's still a massive stalker army. That's 15 stalkers for Nightmare. Oh, overcharge runs out as well. Yeah, there is no overcharge. There's no backup shield battery. Greater Concave for Nightmare. So far, the juggling is solid. And 
Garros, he's bleeding out a lot. Stalkers are going down. Yeah, Garros, he lost control of the natural. The expansion is going to fall. But bearing in mind, Nightmare still has no base. He needs more than that. He needs more than just a Nexus. Garros, he's a fly blocks. Oh. Now is not the time! Ah, uh, Geralt's no pilot on the way, no supply whatsoever, pilot now gets thrown down, that could just kill him! No, he can't reinforce! Pilot and a shield battery, not like this. The fatigue getting to Geralt here. Nightmare shading in. Has a concave, locks down the immortal, Ooh, it's gonna be saved. That's struggling out of Geralt, but the gateway is going to fall nonetheless. And Nightmare just forces his way up the ramp. Shield battery is almost done. Nice force field. Slows down the retreat. And Geralt holds. Geralt is holding. He's holding the line. That Epsa shade into the mineral line, though. Five probe kills. Nightmare is getting economic damage. And he's expanding. It's happening. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Nightmare, he has dealt some critical damage, killed a base, got into the mineral line. And show us the Nexus. Geralt moving out with the counterattack. Yep, Nexus has been placed. Now the goal for Nightmare is not to kill, now it's to contain. It's to contain Geralt for as long as he can. Likewise, though, Geralt could even force a cancel on the expansion. Okay, the Immortals have a right, that's a kill. Here's a kill on the shield battery, going for the expansion, forces a cancel. Even catching out an immortal. Oh my god, Geralt! He's popping off! Gets the immortal! The immortal goes down. Forces a recall. And both players are still stuck on one base. Okay, the immortals were the MVPs. Behind this, now Geralt can expand. And so can Nightmare. <laughs> Sorry. After an intense start of the game, after the initial all-in from Nightmare, where he did do some critical damage, but likewise, Geralt, he was able to force a cancel, able to deny the expansion, and both players are calming down. We're calming things down, we are taking our natural bases. It's still too early to call, you know, a longer late game again, but that's the direction that we're headed in for now. Both armies are moving out there. Trying to give over the prism. Jesus, that's four immortals. I like. I don't think Nightmare can push into this. Not into four immortals. And Nightmare is backing off. The depths into the main, getting two probes. And Nightmare has to retreat. A Twilight Council on the way. Nightmare recognizes he has to take up. Both players going for their own drop harass. Immortals into the main. And Immortals into the natural. <gasps> Nightmare's in position! No! Geralt! Oh my god. He does pull away in time. Does pull back. Thankfully. Both players still playing with fire. With their immortal drops. Geralt rushing into the bay. This is a very fast robotics bay for Geralt. I mean, he's been rushing into disruptors every game in this series, but this is even faster than normal. Geralt, he wants those disruptors. Watch him throw down the fleet beacon. Watch him, <laughs> Watch him start Tempest production. We're getting there. But uh, this fast bay and into these fast disruptors tell us that I feel like Geralt wants to hit the timing. I feel like he wants to try to snowball out of control early on with early disruptors. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Twilight Council's on the way. Gateway. Ah. Uh, okay. Now, if you were in the kitchen, and if I brought you back earlier, I made a mistake. You can go back to the... <laughs> can you get some food again? Ah, oh, no. Both players are building up. Blink is on the way for Nightmare. 
Likewise, Geralt is moving out with that first disruptor, as I did mention. Nightmare does spot this with the observer. Nightmare is aware. He's getting ready to top of the ramp. Now, a big factor of Ghost River is these ramps are brutal. There are a lot of choke points here, where this ramp at the natural, this ramp here at the third. So Nightmare's ready at the same time, going for his own drop. There we go, off. Doesn't quite connect. Uh, this does force a big reaction from Geralt. He does pull all the way back to the natural. And that means Nightmare can push in. Nightmare is moving in. Is no third. Geralt, he does respond in time. Nightmare has to back off. Trying to make his way up the ramp, taking a third base. As, as, uh, as the Disruptor count gets higher, Nightmare's ground army is going to be that much less effective and is forcing a longer game. Nightmare's still poking in. He still wants that third. He wants it and he's going to get it. Third base is going to be denied. Geralt not quite in position. He's going for the dive. He flicks in. He gets one. He gets both. He locks down every single Disruptor and the Immortals as well. Yeah, Nightmare finally the fight he was looking for. He cleans up the army. And he's snowballing out of control. Yeah, Geralt, he gets caught with his pants down. And Nightmare, he can keep going. He can keep pushing. There's one disruptor left. He flicks in. <laughs> he can send it. Again, it's, a, it's been a very, very intense series so far. We've had non-stop late game, but here in the ace match, GG gets called as Nightmare pulls Geralt apart and will take the series 2-1. to one. Nightmare advances on to the grand finals. GG. <laughs> GG, well played. Nightmare does end up catching Geralt again. Unfortunately, Geralt, he wasn't quite in position to save the third. Likewise, wasn't quite in position to deflect the main army. Was caught out in the open. GG, well played. Whew. This time we avoid the late game. Uh, it's a little bit bittersweet. And I think part of me would have enjoyed it to, to get into another half hour game. Would have been something. <laughs> but regardless, GG, well played. Congratulations to Nightmare. But a shout out to Geralt because he played phenomenally in this series. Even in game one, I do feel like Geralt, he had the better late game army control both in game one and in game two. Game 1, there was a different factor at play, if you recall. It was due to the economy, the greater economy of Nightmare, where he could afford to be inefficient. Game 2 wasn't the case. Here in Game 3, we almost stabilized into a longer game state, but Nightmare in the end did end up pulling apart the attention of Geralt. Congratulations. Congratulations. And with that, we have our Grand Finals. Ah, uh, let's go. <laughs> Let us go. And a shout out to Little Mac in the chat. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had a great stream. Hope you had a great cast as well. For those who do not know, Little Mac was also covering the matches on his channel, was covering the semis. It was a long semifinals as well. It was a long PvP. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you did enjoy. And uh, welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Tenacious Total Tussle. Welcome, welcome to the Cranky Ducklings. And we're getting ready for the Grand Finals. Let's go. Let us go.